With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, let us start with the question. Here we have given evaluate the following integrals as limit of sum. So here we have given integral of 0 to 2 in bracket x square plus 1 dx. Okay, so let us start with the solution. Now, first of all, I will write a given question that is 0 to 2 in bracket x square plus 1 and we have to solve it by using limit of sum. Okay, so as we know the formula, that is formula says that a to b f of x dx will be nothing but is equals to b minus a limit n tending to infinity into 1 upon n in bracket f of a plus f of a plus h plus up to that dash f of uh, a plus n minus 1 of h. So according to this formula, uh, if I will see here, so value of a will become 0, value of b will be is equals to 2. Okay, so hence my h will become b minus a divided by n which will be is equals to 2 minus 0 divided by n which will be is equals to 2 by n okay now i simply put the values over here so b minus a means 2 minus a uh, 0 will be 2 limit n tending to infinity 1 by n now here f of a means f of 0 plus f of a plus h means 0 plus h okay similarly it will become f of 2h plus up to that dash plus f of n minus 1 of h okay now if i will try to find this so here it will become limit n tending to infinity this will become 2 divided by n now f of 0 okay f of 0 will be nothing but 0 here it will become plus 1 that is this will become h square plus 1 okay this is where, where i am getting that is here i have given the function that is f of x is nothing but is equals to x square plus 1 so if i will put here x as 0 so it will become z now for the first term it will be 0 for the second term it will be 1 okay 0 plus 1 okay 0 plus 1 then i will put here h so it will become h square plus 1 plus if i will put twice of h so it will become 4h square plus 1 and similarly up to that dash here i will get the last one okay sorry here no you need to use this f so here the last one which i will get that is n minus 1 of h square will become limit n tending to infinity 2 by n will be as it is okay now if i will look at here so this 1 1 1 1 is going on okay so it can be uh, up to n okay so here i can directly say n plus now i will take h square common to all of them so it will become in bracket 1 square this is nothing but the 2 square and thus further 3 square up to that dash n minus 1 bracket square okay this is for this one and this is squaring for here yeah. so this is 1 square plus 2 square now as we know the formula that is if there will be 1 square 2 square means natural number square will be there up to that dash of n square so that can be written as n n plus 1 twice n plus 1 divided by 6 so according to above formula what i can write here here the expression will become limit n tending to infinity 2 divided by n in bracket what was that that is n plus h square in bracket n minus 1 then it will be n because plus 1 and minus 1 will be get cancelled here it will be twice n minus 1 and this is whole divided by 6 because here it is 6 okay now further going on it will become 
limit n tending to infinity now i will multiply this to inside so it will become 2 plus now ultimately i will put here value of h that is 2 by n which we have already calculated above okay where it is here okay now i will just say here so if i will put here so it will become 2 square will be 4 divided by n square okay this will be as it is now divided by 6 okay now here i have multiplied this 2 divided by okay now after doing this what it will become limit n tending to infinity will be become 2 plus this will be 4 to the 8 now we, this n this n will be get cancelled and this 2n i will give to this one so expression will become 1 minus 1 upon n in bracket 2 minus 1 by n okay now i simply put the limit so here as we know the formula if there will be a limit where n tending to infinity and 1 upon n so that always will be is equals to 0 so according to this my final expression will become here i am directly writing the final so it will become 2 plus 8 by 6 into 1 into 2 because these two terms will be goes to 0 so here finally i will get 2 plus 8 by 3 which will be nothing but 6 plus 8 by 3 which will be is equals to 14 by 3 so here we got the value for this is nothing but 14 by 3 okay so here is the solution i hope you will like the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today